What's going on people? Welcome back to Curtis Shaw TV. I'm here with my good friend Claude. How are Hello, you mate? Curtis, mate. Good day for Arsenal is it? Emery gone. <laughs> are you happy? Uh, it's a bit late but it's, yeah. it's done. Um, I think now we can move on. Uh, we might play with a bit more freedom in the next few days, yeah. a few games. and. Pressure's off now for the players. Uh, there's no excuses now. The players now can maybe perform, uh, let let loose a bit, yeah. and uh, start with Norwich on on Sunday. So who um, um, who do you think we should replace Emery with? Well, I think we now have to we have to um, mustn't make a rush appointment. Yeah. And what I mean, what I mean is, we mustn't just take the uh, nearest option. I think what we got to do, we got to get someone established, yeah, I agree. a trophy winner, a proper. Yeah. Man, there's one titles. So then you look at people like Allegri, um, Angelotti, yeah. who's done it here at Chelsea, and I like, I like Benitez as well. You like Rafa? Yeah, I like Rafa Benitez. Uh, these are uh, uh, winners, and uh, Nuno is a good up and coming manager. But we need, we need that. Man, that's advanced more. Uh, done it at a big club, yeah, yeah. and I think we that's what we've got going now. Yeah, um, Freddie temporary charge. Uh, yeah, Mossi, I, think we, I think Freddie. Well, a few games, uh, uh, the players will be more freer. They, yeah. They'll play for him in the first few games, and that, that just to, until we get that appointment, I think that'd be a great. It's, it's okay. Do you, I'm think, okay with that. do you think we've made the decision a bit too late to get rid of him? Is it? Is it? Should have made this a couple of months ago, a couple of weeks ago. They should have. You know my thoughts. It should have been done in May after Baku. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, and um, well, I even go back further than that. But I mean, you know, these decisions should have been made in May. Here they weren't. We let it go. We dragged on and on this season, and we're paying the price now in our yeah, position in time. the league. Big time. And we're well off the pace. Even for Champions League football. Yeah. So now we just got to get back to winning ways, see what we can rescue from this season, and um, but long-term appointment has to be has to be a top. Yeah, I want to. Can't be going down the Emery Road again. No, no. We, we've done that. It didn't work. It doesn't work, and um, and now this is where the board have to work properly now and uh, they have to take the full responsibility. Yeah. They should take responsibility for the last appointment, to be honest with you, but now they really have to take responsibility and really make a proper appointment. Yeah. I just saw on Sky they're saying that um, the board was split on Mourinho. Do you think we missed a trick by not um, going for Joe? Okay. Uh, pleasure to meet you. All right, cheers. Sorry. We came all the way from Ireland for the game last Thank night very much. and they wouldn't even let us in. I know, I know, it's yeah. terrible, I know. Anyway, never mind. Good luck there. Yeah. We'll take a picture with you when you're finished. Yeah, so yeah, certainly, out. certainly. So, um, Claude and his fans here. <laughs> yeah, so Mourinho, do you think we missed a, a bit of a trick not going for him? Yeah, I would have, I, I would I would have, have taken Jose, him. yeah. I would have taken Jose because he's got he's, he's a winner. Yeah. I don't know all this rubbish about what he's done in the past. He's, look, you've got to forget all that. I mean, mm. forget, I mean, even Arsene Wenger's forgiven him. And yeah, they're exactly. even they're chat, friends now. So what's the problem with our fans? I don't yeah. understand that. One Emotional. But he's now at Tottenham, so we've lost out on that one. Um, and but they were, he would have been one of the options I would have gone for. Yeah. Pochettino, I'm not so sure with Pochettino what it is. I he hasn't won it. nothing. No. And also, I think he had better players. He did. And yet he was he was below us in the league. So yeah. what makes you think he's going to turn things around? So, and with him being ex Tottenham, mm. if he lost a few games, uh, would the fans have the patience with him? I don't mm. know. Mm. But this is a job now for some. Uh, this is a big club now. And yeah. It's not less than a deal. And this is a job for someone big now. It's not. It's not. We can't be pushing up uh, going for better with uh, Europa League players. No. We've got. No. We've got to aim higher. Yeah. And then if if you aim the higher you aim, if you fall, at it's least still you higher. You're higher yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You've got to aim higher than what. We've not been aiming high enough, no. so we've got to do that. That's we don't want Pep's water boy either, do we, as you call him, Martel. 
No, no, we need so, we need more than that. But so, give me the name. Who do you think? Which one would you? Well, go my for? three would go. Uh, give me an order. And I'm not. I'm not. No, I, I would say I would take any of the three. Okay, I good. would go Allegri. Yeah. Angelotti. Yeah. And maybe even Benitez. We need you. We're surprised with the Benitez one. Mm. But um, I think he's a winner. He'll get us organised properly as well. We need that that sort of uh, impact at the club. You know. Yeah. A big presence. Yeah. Yeah. Right, bro, thanks for coming on the channel. Everyone check out Claude's YouTube channel as well and we'll see you next time. Right. Left.